Throughout the centuries, there have been a number of executions that have occurred in Britain that have gone shockingly wrong. Executioner Jack Ketch was known for botching executions in London, and during the Duke of Monmouth's killing, he made such a mess of the proceedings that he almost caused a riot. The repeated swings of the axe and the fact Ketch gave up forced him to be led away by guards for his own safety. But inside of Edinburgh, the Scottish capital, there was one execution that was incredibly shocking. The city has a long history of bloodshed, with murderers such as Burke and Hare killing many people, and people even tried to steal bodies from graveyards to sell to medical professionals for dissections. But one of the most shocking executions in history saw a rather outspoken woman, Maggie Dixon, being taken to the gallows. She was hanged by the executioner, but shockingly those who were witnessing her execution at the grass market in Edinburgh that day never forgot what they saw. Join us today as we look at the failed execution of Maggie Dixon, Edinburgh's half-hang-it Maggie. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Born in Musselburgh around the year 1702, Maggie Dixon was raised in the small town on the outskirts of Edinburgh. She married a fisherman, but in 1723 he ran away and left her. He may have been forced to join the navy, and Maggie left the town and moved south to a town named Kelso, near to the Scottish borders. She worked in an inn, and then quickly she became pregnant after sleeping with the son of the innkeeper. This shocked Maggie, and she was greatly worried that she would be forced out of her home. She worried that she would be taken to court for having an affair with another man, despite the fact she was married. Maggie then decided to hide the pregnancy, and the relationship as long as she could, but her child sadly was born premature, and it's not known if it was born stillborn, or whether the child died a few days after it was born. But Maggie decided to do something rather shocking, that would secure her fate. She left her child on the banks of the River Tweed, and it's probable that she intended to throw the child into the river, but could not bring herself to do it. A short while after, the baby was found by locals and a doctor confirmed that the child had been alive, but it had been killed. With this, the hunt for Maggie Dixon was on, and it was easy to find her, and she was arrested and transported to Edinburgh to stand trial in front of a magistrate. Maggie Dixon was accused of hiding a pregnancy, but after evidence of the doctor's examination was presented to the court, her charge was then changed to murder of her newborn child. This was very serious and was a capital offence, and she stood in front of an all-male jury, who took no mercy on her. All evidence was put forward, and then she was quickly found guilty. The Edinburgh judge then had no other option but to sentence Maggie Dixon to death for her crimes, and she was condemned to die by hanging. She was then taken to Grass Market in the shadow of Edinburgh Castle on the 2nd of September 1724. Her execution was scheduled, and she was around the age of 22. The grass market was where executions took place inside of Edinburgh, inside the old city, and thousands of people would line the streets to see the proceedings. The crowd were baying for the blood of the woman deemed to have been a child murderer, and many regarded her as a witch. But her execution did not go to plan, and she was not killed. It has been stated that Maggie allegedly was friends with the rope maker in Edinburgh, who helped to spare her life and save her and some believe she was friends with the executioner herself, a man named Jock Dalgleish. It was stated that as Maggie was put on the gallows, the hangman that day tied the noose around her neck looser than it needed to be, and that she could fit her fingers through the noose, and this would stop it tightening around her throat. This conversation may have even took place on the scaffold, with Maggie being informed what was happening. The executioner checked the noose, and then Maggie was stood on either a ladder or a bucket, with the noose around her neck. The executioner then gave her a nudge, and Maggie was there hanging in front of the crowd. But to the crowd that day, they would have believed that they were witnessing the end of Maggie Dixon. In front of thousands, she was left hanging, and there was a huge rush after she was left for 30 minutes, hanging from the gallows. Medical students wanted her body for dissection, and these were fought off by Maggie's friends and family, who wanted to give her body a dignified burial. Medical students wanted her body, as they were allowed to dissect murderers, but some people even pulled down on her legs, which was dangerous to her. There was a shortage of bodies in Edinburgh, and fights at executions involving medical students was common, but Maggie was not dead. 
Her friends managed to secure her body, and quickly they placed her in a coffin, and she was taken on a cart back to Musselburgh for burial. But the cart then stopped outside of a pub, and the men and women then stopped for refreshments, and her family toasted her death, but during this the coffin was not guarded. It was said that in some accounts that the coffin was placed in front of a window, and then the coffin lid then moved open, and a moaning came from inside of it. Someone heard the noise and took off the lid, and inside was Maggie Dixon, who was very much alive. A surgeon or a doctor was fetched, and it was said she would make a full recovery, and less than an hour after being hanged, she was alive, and she walked back home. She arrived home, and her husband then rekindled his love for her. But many across Edinburgh could not believe the crazy story of half hang it Maggie, the woman who was half hanged and then survived. Many believed that her resurrection was God's will, and that she was cared for by God, and that the decision to sentence her to death was wrong. Under the law at the time, as her punishment had been carried out by the executioner, she could not legally be put to death again for the same crime, and she was then released from any further action. She became a local celebrity, and was even seen drinking in the grass market with her friends, the very place where she was hanged, and out of respect to her, today a pub is named after her, close to where her execution happened. So Maggie Dixon's botched execution was one of the most shocking executions in British history. It clearly did not go well, or it did go well, for her even, and to the crowd that day they believed justice had been done, but then many could not believe the rumours that they heard, that the condemned woman had been raised from the dead. It's claimed that she lived into her mid-sixties, living 40 more years, and she became known as half hang it Maggie. She had a very strange life, and one that was rather tragic, but her execution is still today one of Edinburgh's greatest stories. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.